I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very interesting question which combines coordinate geometry, different aspects of coordinate geometry. The question here is how many coordinates with integer value will lie inside the circle x square plus y square equals to 64, right? Inside means not on the circle but interior of the circle. That is what the question is. So the equation is x square plus y square equals to 64. You write this as x square plus y square equals to 8 square. So we have radius of 8 units, right? For this circle, right? So we have a circle with a radius of 8 units. The question here is how many points, coordinate points within this circle have integer values. You can pause and then answer the question. Here is kind of solution for you. So let us assume that this is the circle for us and the radius of this circle is 8 units, right? So this is the circle with 0 as the center, 0, 0 and these points are 8, minus 8, 8 and minus 8, right? Now you need to figure out how many points inside will have integer coordinates. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Okay, so definitely we can start from the origin itself. So origin is 1. So 1 is right in the center. Let's write down the coordinate as 0, 0. So that is our first point. Now how about the points on the axis itself? On the x-axis, for example, we'll have 1, 1, 1, I mean 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, till 7, 0, right? And on this side also till minus 7. So we have origin on the left side, so on x-axis, on the x-axis, we have how many points? 7 on the right of origin, 7 on left of origin right so that makes it 40 how would the y-axis on the y-axis we again have 14 points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 do you see that so these seven points 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right and these seven points that is to say these points 1 0 2 0 3 0 and all so we have 14 points on the y-axis. So on the coordinate axis we have 14 plus 14 28 and 1 29 points on the coordinate axis but there will be many points inside like 1 1 do you see that? Now to count these points let us first consider coordinate 1 itself. Now in coordinate 1 starting with 1 we'll have 1 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 correct? So likewise we'll have 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, likewise, we'll have so many points. Now let us count these points. So, so let's say coordinate 1, how many points are there? So starting with 1, 1, we could go up to 1, 7, correct? Now, how do we know this is inside? 1 square plus 7 square, 7 square is 49, and 1 square is 1. So it is 50. It is less than 64 and therefore it should be within the circle, right? So we get that. Now starting with 2, how many points will be there? So so we 7 square is 49. 49 plus 2 square is 4, which is 53. So that should be within, right? So up to from 2 to 7. How about uh, starting with 3? 3, 1, right? So... So let's check with calculator. 3 squared is 9, right? So, so what we have here is uh, 3 squared plus 7 squared is equal to 58, which is less than 64. So we again have 7 points. So if I have 4th place, right? So that we're going to 3 4th. 4, 1 will definitely be there. But what is that point, which is the last one? Uh, let's calculate what is 4 squared plus 7 squared. That is 65. Slightly more than 64. That means that is outside. So we'll take 4 and 6. Correct? How about 5? 
so 5 1 let's try 5 with 6 also so 5 square plus 6 square is how much 61 very much within right so we'll take that and then we can go to 6 uh, when we go with 6 let's try 6 again from 6 1 2 so 6 square plus 6 square 72 which is greater than 64 so that is not the point let's consider 6 square plus 5 square I mean 5 square that gives us 61 so that works so it kind of repeats right so with 6 it is 5 and of course since you see the pattern okay with quadrant 0.71 so that means the last one we could go up to 7 and 3 right same as this point is it okay so that kind of gives us number of points inside quadrant 1 within the circle with integer values like this like we can see let's count how many are these so 1 to 7 that is 7 for us 1 to 7 is again 7 for us 1 to 7 is again 7 1 to 6 means 6 1 to 6 means 6 1 to 5 means 5 and and uh, 7 to 3 1 to 3 1 2 and 3 means 3 right so so 3 let's add them up right so let let's add these numbers so what we have is 21 okay let's add one by one 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 3 and that gives us 41 so these are total this is 41 coordinate points with integer values what we are trying to say here is they are like x y where x and y belongs to integers right so that is what we are saying correct so in each quadrant we'll have 41 such points is that okay so in each quadrant we have 41 so now let us combine all this so what we have here is four quadrants right so four quadrants will give us four times 41 right so that is uh, 16 1 6 4 right so 4 times 1 is 4 4 times 4 is 16 so these are in four quadrants and then we also found on the x's how many so we'll add those many correct so we have 164 points because of these uh, quadrants and then to these 164 we will add 14 14 and 1 right so we have uh, x's points which we considered x-axis and then y-axis right which is 14 and 14 and then we had origin which is 1 so let's add them up so we have 164 that means 41 times 4 164 plus 14 plus 14 and then plus 1 that gives us 193 so 193 is our answer that is the total number of coordinates within the circle x square plus y square equals 64 where the coordinate points have integer values do you get the point right so that is what we have found so we have looked for coordinate points x and y they are 193 in all and that is kind of the breakup so i hope you find it very interesting and we could do like this this such problems thank you and all the best